to have time away from your life to just focus on your creating. What is probably the most meaningful is that that to me says that art is valued. That the, the creative time of an artist is valued and it's valued in a way that somebody's going to put money forward and help help financially support that because you know artists almost always have to have a day job and so you're trying to support your art you're trying to be creative and trying to do all of these things and for someone to come and say we value this enough to help fund this opportunity for you to just take a break and do something and cr create something for the park and create something for your own self. By doing a residency like this, people go, oh, wow, you are a professional, you know, because, you know, your average person is not going to be able to do this. These residencies, I mean, they, they're a time to really work on, do your work, your artwork, and I use them. They're on my resume. I apply for other residencies around the country. I want to do more of them. They're, they're very inspiring times. It could not have been a more perfect spot. It was like we had the best spot in the camp. The rangers were absolutely wonderful. They were so gracious and so helpful and so encouraging. It was just such a wonderful experience. Because I was there, I'd like to go to other parks in North Dakota and look at the uh, landscape there because I'm sure it will inspire another feeling, whatever, wherever you are, this sense of place. And North Dakota is really, really a quite diverse and beautiful state. I thought, oh my gosh, a week away just to paint. Um, and I have a teaching background also, so the opportunity to spend a bunch of time painting but then share what I was doing there and then uh, do a class with that just sounded wonderful and so I was so excited to apply and be chosen. There's always a mix of people uh, that come to the state parks and know about the artist in residence program and so some people come there excited about it, excited to uh, see what the artists are doing and then there are people that are there just for the state parks to camp and experience you know all of the wonderful things at the state park and so then those people that stumble upon it and go what are you doing here? Oh can I try it? And then being able to share my medium with them and show them uh, why I like what I do and why I'm drawn to paint outside and how I do it. Um, it's always so fun to be able to share that with people. It was a pretty phenomenal time as I was able to actually concentrate on light painting um, and to a lesser extent shooting the night sky and I hadn't been doing it that long. I, I had the photography, I knew the technical skills, you know, so it was a really opportunity to refine and, and take myself in a direction with light painting and develop my own style. There's no distractions, no interruptions, no laundry to do. So it was an amazing opportunity to just solely focus on art and creating it and seeing different things. I've got four kids and a busy teaching career. So when you actually get to remove yourself and concentrate on just what you're doing for a, you know, a couple of weeks uninterrupted, um, it, it's amazing. It, it's an ab absolutely, you know, undescribable experience when you get to dig that deeply into your work without interruption. That first residency served as a launching pad for me because I didn't, uh, I didn't understand how it was going to impact my work at the time, and I had such a profound kind of experience. It set the stage for the next decade. I, I thought so. So the fish yes. is alighted. Yeah. But I also did a hands-on light painting. You know, so I had a couple families that got involved in that and showed them the basics and they, they tried it out and they uh, had ideas they wanted to try. So I was like, yeah, we can do that. So I just worked with them and we just started light painting. I would sit outside my cabin or in different locations around the park and just paint. And people would come up to me and it was wonderful that they were interested and it was fun to share. And then I even had some little kids coming up, oh, this is so cool, and it was just really fun to interact.
I was delighted to see all the legislators there because I would like them to know how important the arts are and how it's so important for mental health and happiness and joy.